Welcome to the Deposit Legend Stealth Guide. In this video, I'll go over how to do this mission as an infiltrator, and then I'll cover a few alternate methods. Anyway, let's get started. For your loadout, you should bring a lockpick, a keycard scrambler, and a breaching charge. The first thing you should do is go to the right and plant the breaching charge in a transformer. Then, go to the back of the building and lockpick this door. This step is optional, but it saves you a bit of time. Next, disable this camera and wait for a guard to arrive. When the guard goes down the stairs, hostage them, knock them out, and take their disguise. Note that the door in the basement has sensors, so opening it will raise the alarm. Next, go into the building, go down the stairs, and disable a dome camera at the bottom. This will lure guard into the basement, which you should knock out. Then, bag their body and hide it in this corner so it's not visible. If you get a keycard, then feel free to replace your keycard scrambler with it, but this won't always happen. Next, open the keycard door and head to the camera operator's room. Open this keycard door, go inside the room, and prone so you aren't seen from the window. Then, knock out the camera operator and exit the room. There are three remaining guards in the basement, and you'll have to take out all of them. I would suggest knocking out one of them and then sprinting around the basement to take out the other two before they can see the body. Once the basement is clear, it's time to move on to the top floor. Dropping a keycard in this spot allows you to easily lure this guard, which you can safely take out. No one goes here unless you lure them, so you don't have to bag the body. You can also lockpick into this room, where hacking the computer gives you the vault code. Depending on RNG, the safe with the vault keycard might be in this room, but it could also be in any of the offices or camera operator rooms. Most of the time, you won't be able to get the safe until after taking out the second camera operator. Again, it just depends on RNG. Next, you should lockpick the camera operator's room. If no one can see you, then take out your gun, aim down sights, and hostage the operator as soon as you enter. Then close the door immediately. If you don't hostage them quickly, then the sensors will alarm the operator, so you have to be fast. Next, you should break into Maddox Gray's office. Lockpicking is suspicious, so if any NPCs can see you, then you'll have to wait for them to leave. You are considered trespassing in these rooms, so when you go in, try to hide behind cover as you hack the computer. Once you finish the hack, you'll get the box ID. If you don't already have the vault keycard, then now would be a good time to find the safe. Just check all the rooms until you find it, lockpick the door, and crack the safe without being detected. Anyway, once you have the box ID, the vault keycard, and the vault code, it's time to open the vault. Go to this room and use the keypad to open the vault. Then, go to this staircase and wait for about 30 seconds. If a guard gets lured to the vault, then you have to take them out once they get down, but that didn't happen in this run. The vault has sensors which will trigger the alarm if you go in. However, if you press 7 to activate your reaching charge, then the sensors will be disabled for a few seconds, giving you just enough time to open the correct deposit box, take the phoenix box, and bag the cash. You have to leave the vault before the timer runs out, so don't take too long. Finally, it's time to escape. Carrying the money bag makes you conspicuous, which increases the detection rate, so be careful not to be detected as you're escaping. And that's the end of the mission. However, depending on your class and perks, you may need to use a few alternate methods. If you're not a hacker, then you'll have to lure and interrogate the manager for the vault code. Luring is pretty simple, just let their suspicion meter fill up two bars to make them follow you, hide behind cover to make the suspicion meter reset, and repeat this process until they get to an isolated spot where you can safely hostage them. Anyway, here are a few examples of luring from different spots. If you're not a hacker, then you'll also have to check the archive to find the box ID. 
lock back this door when no one can see you and then check all the shelves until you get the box ID. If you can't bring a breaching charge, then you'll have to keep checking the archives after getting the box ID to get the vault blueprints. Having the blueprints allows you to disable the vault sensors by lockpicking this door and using a silent drill on the sensors. Also, if you're not a hacker, then you can actually take out the top camera operator to get a guaranteed keycard and then you can go to the basement. This spares you the trouble of having to use the silent drill on the keycard doors. Anyway, many of the methods in this guide so far require a lockpick. If you're not a thief, then you can use the silent drill in place of a lockpick so long as you have the precision drilling perk. The problem with silent drills is that drill doors are suspicious while open, which means that you can't open drill doors while anyone else can see them. If you drill this door and then open it, then the operator will get suspicious even if you disable the sensors, so you still have to be fast. When you're inside a closed room, you don't know if there's anyone outside who can see the door, which makes silent drills even more risky. However, you can compensate for this by hacking and watching the cameras, which allow you to see if anyone's outside the door. Overall, being an infiltrator with the explosive entry perk is the best way to complete this mission, but there are certainly viable alternatives. Also, if you're 13 or older, then I would recommend joining my Discord server. It's the number one entry point server, and it's linked in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.